Imagine you see a floating railway in midair going at bullet speed carrying passengers. It's insane, right? But it was an actual invention proposed by Fletcher E. Feltz in 1910, hoping to carry passengers from San Francisco to Oakland City Hall in five minutes. Welcome to Must Visit TV. In today's video, we'll look at some of the insane mega projects that were never built. They either failed because of the impractical idea proposed or due to a lack of finance and resources. Number 1. Triumphant Elephant, Paris, France The world witnessed a lot of animal-shaped buildings like the Macau Pavilion in China, Duck of Flanders in New York, etc. In 1758, a French visionary architect brought the idea of constructing a building in the shape of an elephant in the middle of Paris where the Arc de Triomphe now stands. The building with the height of a five-story building was intended as a tribute to the French king. It included two floors with the main rooms on the upper floor occupying both the body and the head with dining, fountain, throne room, etc. Even though his plan was a failure, Napoleon tried to revive the idea by building Elephant de la Bastille, which also turned out to be incomplete. 2. Twin London Bridges, London, UK In 1757, the medieval London Bridge caught fire and collapsed. There was a competition held in 1799 for a design to replace the old bridge, and as a result, George Dance proposed the idea of two bridges, which is to be built 300 feet apart one for city-bound traffic and the other for southward-bound traffic, and the gap between would allow tall sailing ships to pass through. William Daniel illustrated this plan, but due to height requirements, the plan didn't succeed. Instead, John Rennie's conventional design was accepted, which replaced the old bridge in the 1970s. Number 3. Trafalgar Square Pyramid, London, UK In 1815, a plan was introduced to build a giant pyramid in the center of London, but it would cost almost 1 million pounds, which is around 7.4 billion pounds today. Sir Frederick William Trench, who brought the idea of this 300-foot pyramid, wanted to commemorate the defeat of the French at the Battle of Trafalgar, which took place 10 years ago. Therefore, he started a campaign in 1815 that would commemorate the victory over the French. The reason for introducing such a plan was to commemorate the entire war, especially the Battle of the Nile. It had a base that was almost 360 feet long on each side. The construction was supposed to be over in five years and expected the men who were discharged from the military to work there. The place where the planned pyramid is supposed to be is where Trafalgar Square is situated. Number 4. Roosevelt Island Civic Center, New York, USA New York's Roosevelt Island was then called Blackwell's Island, which was filled with prisons, asylums, quarantine centers, etc. Thomas J. George, an architect, created a design for a neoclassical civic complex in 1904 to improve the gloomy region and was also closer to the city's true commercial center. Unfortunately, it was dismissed because it was considered idealistic and never stood a chance of being constructed. George considered building two new bridges to cross Blackwell's, one of which would go through the dome of his brand new municipal structure. There will be grand promenades extending along the riverfronts of Manhattan and Long Island City the enormous Capitol building would remain a landmark forever. The construction of broad diagonal streets extending from famous locations like Penn Station, the Public Library in Bryant Park, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, Grand Central Terminal, and the north end of Central Park was a crucial component of George's huge plan. 5. Coney Island Globe Tower, New York, USA On May 6, 1906, an advertisement in the New York Herald announced one of the most ambitious and outlandish amusement park plans for Coney Island. The Globe Tower was described as the best real estate investment and gave investors a chance to get profits in the greatest amusement enterprise in the entire globe. It would cost $1,500,000 to build up, according to the advertisement. It was supposed to be the largest steel structure ever built. The tower's designs featured a massive steel globe colliding with a replica of the Eiffel Tower. It was three times as tall as the Flat Iron Building, New York's marvel at the time. The Globe Tower, with its elevation distinct floors, would have been the tallest structure in the world with the largest elevators. The project was continually delayed and later was discovered to be a fraud. Number 6. Burnham Plan, Chicago, USA The 1909 Plan of Chicago, popularly known as the Burnham Plan, was an imaginative idea that aimed to modify Chicago with neoclassical civic buildings, grand piazzas, broad avenues, and expansive parks and boost commercial efficiency. The plan, which was made public with the help of the Commercial Club of Chicago, featured illustrations to show the outcome of the expanding city. 
The plan of Chicago turned out to have idealistic objectives and therefore was never realized. Architect Daniel Burnham was the one who was responsible for developing the plan to beautify the city. They focused on the economic transportation and other needs of the people. The plan in the end failed but still offered solutions and possibilities. 7. Lincoln Memorial Pyramid, Washington, D.C., USA John Russell Pope, an architect who designed the Jefferson Memorial, the National Archives, etc., once designed the Lincoln Memorial, which could have been a pyramid. The Lincoln Memorial's foundation was officially set on February 12, 1915. To choose the design, they launched a competition. The budget was a price worth $2 million, and various designers sent in their proposals from which Henry Bacon and John Russell Pope were selected. John Russell Pope suggested a variety of mind-blowing plants, including a ziggurat, a Mayan temple, and this pyramid construction. But Bacon's Greek Doric temple design ultimately won. It almost took seven years to complete Bacon's plan. 8. Skyscraper Bridges, New York, USA Architect Raymond Hood, who designed Rockefeller Center, the Daily News Building in Chicago's Tribune Tower, designed a series of bridges over the Hudson River hood with towers that were 50 to 60 floors tall and spanning. On the bridges, there would be shops, theaters, and elevators leading to the river. He imagined more than a dozen bridges branching off of Manhattan. This project would help in the reduction of transportation congestion. It was expected that there would be maybe 20 to 100 of the 20,000-foot-long bridges, but Hood's plan, which was made in 1925, was rejected because it was too expensive and impractical. 9. Depth Scraper, Tokyo, Japan The Depth Scraper building was supposedly a solution for reducing the damages caused by earthquakes. After the Great Kant Earthquake of 1923, an 8.3 magnitude quake that wrecked Tokyo and Yokohama and may have killed up to 140,000 people, they were looking for fresh ideas. As a result, a 35-story cylindrical anti-tower made from a steel frame was designed, which will be less affected by earthquakes than structures above ground, where the vibration is an intriguing fact that buildings underneath and under tunnels are less affected by earthquakes than structures above ground, where the vibration is uncontrolled. But the mayor refused to visit the architects behind this concept, which later ended as unsuccessful. 10. General Ulysses S. Grant Memorial Bridge, Washington, D.C. Several design proposals were made for a bridge to connect Washington, D.C. in Arlington Memorial Cemetery. In 1887, John L. Smith Mayer and Paul J. Pels designed a bridge to honor the 18th President of the United States, General Ulysses S. Grant. A bridge with such an elaborate structure has never been built or even considered before in the United States. However, the government objected to funding the project because of the bridge's connection to the Union Army General and eventually approved the more conventional neoclassical Arlington Memorial Bridge. 11. Manhattan Airport, New York, USA Had one concept for New York City's Dream Airport been accepted, there might have been a whole rooftop airport in Midtown Manhattan. The plan was to build a massive airport 70 meters above Midtown Manhattan. This idea was proposed in 1946. The airport had docks where ships could anchor, in addition to being able to facilitate air travel. The runway could potentially be used by 68 aircraft per hour for takeoffs. Despite having the benefits of good location and convenience, the project failed because of the massive budget of $39 billion along with the likeliness of destruction it would have caused. 12. Manhattan Dome, New York City, USA Inventor and urban futurist Buckminster Fuller brought up an idea for a dome spanning a portion of Manhattan. People thought of him as a fraud because he was dismissed from Harvard. Geodesic Dome over Manhattan, a 1960 concept, was thought to be an April Fool joke. He suggested enclosing a portion of New York City to control climatic conditions and reduce energy consumption. Some people believed it to be rational and sound. The one-mile-tall dome aimed to manage the weather, eliminate air pollution, and would have warmed the city in the winter, cool it in the summer, and purify the air. The mega-project was impractical and unfeasible. 